Alright guys, hope you're all doing well and you're looking forward to your weekend, I know I am. Tower defense mode game coming, question mark. Nah, I'm joking, we're not getting a tower defense mode. In fact, we're not getting any game modes for year two. I've got no news for today's video, but I did want to talk about some uh, that's been bothering me with the new expansion. A pretty con big concern of mine, you could say. Now, just like you, I'm very much still on the hype train and that's not going to change anytime soon, but I think this does need to be said. I've already reached out to Frederick on Twitter. I pretty much wrote a dissertation to him about this concern that I have. And the one big problem I can foresee with this expansion is game modes or lack of game modes. In fact, no game modes coming with year two. Where are they? Question mark. Where are the replayable game modes in this expansion? And if they're not coming, why? I want to talk about that today. So hopefully you enjoy this one. Now before we get into the meat of the discussion based video here, I don't want any of you to think I'm just trying to create an issue that doesn't exist. This isn't a negative video, it's a constructive one that I hope a lot of you guys are going to agree with. I, I should be able to clearly explain why having no game modes in year two is a big concern of mine. Also, you guys can probably tell how excited I am for this expansion. The amount of content I've already put out, uh, the hype in my stream and stuff, I'm really excited. Gear 2.0 looks to be amazing. And as a day one division player, going back to New York is going to be just really nostalgic and just really, really cool. There's a lot of good stuff coming, and I'm, I'm sure my review of this expansion will be an overwhelmingly positive one. But with that said, you know, I can't sit here and act like everything is going to be great when I don't believe that to be the case. And I'd be lying to you guys and doing you guys a disservice if I didn't make this point very, very clear in, in this video. Also, I know the devs watch some of my videos, so if this one can gain a lot of traction with views, if you guys agree with me essentially, share the video, watch the video, all of that good stuff, maybe the devs will reconsider their current position, which is essentially no game modes. So if you didn't notice during the war premiere of the new Warlords of New York expansion and during the two and a half hour post show stream, the developers never once introduced any new replayable game modes. In fact, they never spoke about it at all. So much so that I immediately on noticing this sent a DM on Twitter to my friend Agent Obi and we had a, a bit of a chat about it. You guys may know him, I feature him on this channel a lot because he's just got a very good ability to find stuff. I reached out to him and then I followed that up with a lengthy DM chat with Frederick. Now, I'm not going to show you exactly what me and Frederick spoke about, but from his perspective or the dev perspective, they believe that with the introduction of Legendary Mode, Directives, the Global Modifier and Seasons, that the whole game will essentially become replayable from activities to missions to uh, the Light Zone, essentially. Now, from my discussions with the devs and feeds on Twitter, it would appear that game modes are not on the agenda at all. Every mission, every activity, everything will be replayable, and the devs believe this is what the community want as opposed to replayable game modes. Now, it would be naive of me to think this isn't enough for some of the community. Legendary mode, for example, which, by the way, guys, is only going to be available for people who purchase the expansion, global directives and global difficulty, you know, this stuff's going to add a lot to the game, and I think they are great additions. I'm really happy they're coming. Where I have a problem is the decision to choose this over replayable game modes, which I just think are much more sustainable, uh, they're more loved generally, and I, I just think this is a better choice for end game re replayable content than what's being offered. And I wanna tell you why. So let's go back to the division. Aside from the Dark Zone, what were and still are the most popular and beloved things for people to play in that game? I'd say the most beloved things are the game modes, survival, resistance, and underground being the main three. Now let's take resistance as an example here. Why was this such a popular activity? Well, firstly, you were competing against others, trying to get up to the highest level possible on the on the leaderboard. The additions coming with Warlords of New York is it's not going to offer that. Add in directives to missions or legendary missions, for example, they all provide that personal gratification. You are competing against yourself, no one else, and that's fine, but competitive type modes uh, where they have leaderboards and all that sort of good stuff, they add a huge incentive for people to not only play that content, but enjoy it too. Resistance added horde mode mechanics with ever-increasing difficulty that had no limit. Warlords will not offer it that at all. Resistance added new mechanics with the purchasing and upgrading of sentry turrets or pulse or healing stations. There was critical objectives which, if not completed, would fail the mission. On wave 15, for example, hunters would spawn too. The devs did confirm that hunters and a new type of enemy are coming with warlords, but we don't know yet in what capacity. My point is, resistance added some that the game never had before. Then we had survival as another great example, a separate 
replayable PvE and PvEVP mode unlike anything the game has been able to replicate since. Most would agree this was the battle royale of the Division franchise and really offered some that no other game offered. Now thrown into a harsh environment with no gear, no weapons and battling sepsis, this was the ultimate survival mode. Warlords is not going to offer anything remotely close to this, even though I believe survival is the most requested mode to make a return within the Division 2. With the heat and the sandstorms of DC plus the return of New York, survival reimagined would have been a fantastic addition with this expansion, but unfortunately that won't be happening anytime soon, if ever. Instead, we're getting directives, something that we had in the Division with the Underground game mode, legendary difficulty and global modifiers. And that's pretty much it for content with this expansion, except of course for Seasons. So Seasons have been heralded to be the main activity to kind of keep us playing uh, with this new update or this new expansion. This will introduce a battle pass type system where you level up the reward track to obtain new rewards. Season will also uh, be bringing with it more story, hunting new targets with each season lasting 12 weeks. Seasons will bring with it leagues, which we know very little about so far. There is a dedicated stream on Seasons next week, so maybe there is more they are hiding about this. The new library feature will surely add a lot of grinding. Um, as well, try and get, you know, if you want to get all the god rolls for everything, completely kind of filling out this Pokedex feature. But when all is said and done, when the hardcore players complete the reward track for each season, you know, within one week, as a lot of people do in a lot of seasons in a lot of different games, what is there going to be to do? Change a mission to Legendary and run the same mission over and over again? Something that we've been doing for year one already? Add some directives to your world? Reuse content from the Division? Oh, and global events are coming back, aren't they, as well? So I do like global events, but again, it's reused content. Sure, I'm, you know, I'm going to farm these events because they usually have some core rewards, but how can any of the additions coming with Warlords compare with Resistance or Survival or Underground from the Division? I personally think the move towards, you know, global modifiers, legendary difficulty and directives in replacement uh, of new game modes was the wrong move to make. And it is a replacement, I believe. My question is, why was it not possible to have both directives, uh, which is reused content from the Division, and also to have, you know, some new game modes? Seasons sound good, but they're not adding any new game modes to the game. Take a look at Seasons in Destiny 2. They not only add new weapons, gear, enemies, and all of the stuff we know is coming with Seasons for the Division 2, they had modes like Sundial or the Menagerie, and these are really, really strong, replayable PvE game modes. I mean, people still want more, but my point is, why can't the Division have the same amount of content, if not more? Now, I thought I knew why until I found out that game modes are not on the agenda at all. I thought it was because the devs, you know, spent so much time on Gear 2.0 that they simply didn't have enough time to make game modes, but that that's not it at all. It's actually, they just... They just don't want game modes. I, I think they believe that all of the stuff that is coming is essentially making everything replayable and thus game modes don't really make sense. But I, I got to disagree here. I, I believe game modes are the thing they should be focusing on less so than making missions replayable or making the world replayable. Look guys, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe when the expansion drops, I, you know, I've completely underestimated how replayable all of the content will be, you know, due to these new additions coming. Maybe the new library feature will take me a whole year to fill out. Maybe seasons will be the replayable content needed to keep me logging in kind of each and every day. Maybe PvP will finally make a return so I can actually start playing that again. Maybe the new leagues coming with seasons will have that competitive mode require to sustain a particular audience. Maybe I'm jumping the gun here and just being, you know, a whiny, crying little YouTuber looking for views and wanting to bring everyone down. Maybe. But I don't think so. In fact, I want you guys to spam the comment section below. Put modes for new game modes and warlords for what we're currently getting. I'd like to see the feedback. I'm going to predict the majority of my comments as modes. And if I'm wrong, I'll delete this video and have a serious look at my ability to accurately anticipate what the community wants. But I'm not going to be wrong though. But that's it for today's video, guys. I think my concern hopefully is a valid one that you guys can understand. You know, I hope you see my point here. I know it's completely against the grain right now. But I also think that this is going to be something that people start talking about in the near future once the honeymoon phase is over with Warlord. So I kind of want to just get in there first. Plus, like I said, if this video can gain traction, maybe the devs will reconsider uh, their current position and consider making some game modes for year two. Because right now, I'm 99.5% sure there are no game modes planned for year two. But that's it, though. Apologies for the negative video here. It's not meant to be. 
I made this to be constructive. And I'd like to think that my voice here on YouTube, you know, I can be a platform for the voice of this community. And I would hope that my that my understanding of this community ag will agree with me. I think the majority of you guys are going to agree with me here. And if you do, then that reassures me that I know exactly what this community wants. And that is why I make these videos, because if I can get what the majority want, then I'm doing my job properly. Thanks for all your support. And until the next one, epic out.